Hello and welcome back. I am going to do a daisy belly flower. This is my latest craze. Um, this technique can be found on resincourses.com, which will be linked below. I am using the small live edge tray from Pouring Your Heart Out eBay store. It's the small one. My first color are actually four colors. I was trying to do a rainbow, but I kind of mixed up. Anyway, it's all mixed. It's These are the colors. Smurf, Aronia, Teal, and Sweet Cherry. So the first pour, I guess I'm going to call it a puddle pour, is your first color. You can choose one, you can choose many. I am such a stickler for recipes and rules that sometimes I can't think outside the box, but my friend Nicole is, and many others who are so creative um, had come up with a design where she used more than one color on her first pour. So I said, oh my goodness, why didn't I think of that? So thank you, Nicole. So that's my first um, color. I'm gonna let it, spread maybe not depending um i'm also the reason it didn't fill is because i'm doing this particular mold for the first time so i had to sort of adjust my ratios to the recipe given from resincourses.com and i probably didn't calculate it um correctly so i'm it looks like i'm a little short so i will make my, a note to myself that i need I will need more the next time should I pour into this mold again. So while that hopefully spreads, I might tilt it a bit. I'm going to write a note that I need maybe a little bit more. So I will do that. I've got to write my notes because there's so many of these techniques and it's hard to remember. So actually, I'm just going to tilt it. I hope that's okay. I can see the colors kind of getting... So I'll just sort of, sort of do it like this. Okay. The next pour, or puddle, I guess I'm going to call it puddle pour, is the white. And this one I used Cast and Craft. So I mixed it up in my resin which is the Nick Pro one-to-one -one resin. It's been my go-to for this daisy belly flower. Pour in my white. And take in as much as I can out of my cup. Oops, almost went outside that circle there. Then my last color, or my last puddle pour, is a clear. And if you take the course, um, it's suggested to put in a color. But very creative Nicole did a color shift, and I hope what I used is a color shift. Um, it's called color shift, I suppose. And it's the Samba from Dis Spade and um, Petra from Petra's YouTube channel, she introduced me to that sh um, color shift. And so here's my clear with some of that color shift. So I'm gonna pour into the center. And I hope I've mixed up enough resin to go to the edge of this mold. And I attempted to not, I attempted to, I attempted to do a pour on this final one as a between gentle and not too hard. <laughs> so um, let me do this. Now, with the little bit of resin that I have left in this cup, I am going to mix up a little of 
this glitter, which I absolutely love. Charcoal Gray Hollow from Laura's Art Corner. But I'm going to wait. It's, uh, let's see, I'm going to, I see the time. It's 1.49. I'm going to wait maybe 15 minutes or so or, or when I see what's happening. And then I'll put my um, glitter mix in there in the center. So I will leave. Oh, I wonder what happened here. I did not mix it well enough. I believe is what that means. So I will mix up some of my glitter. I'm also thinking about not putting glitter and doing it later because I want to see if I get any closure. I don't know what to do at this point. It's experimenting whether with with glitter or not. So, oh, I'll just do glitter. Never mind. So I'll wait for that pattern to, um, or that, to go in, and I will pause you momentarily, and then I will come back in a bit to put in the glitter. Mix that up. Oh boy, I that must mean I did not mix my um, super shift very well in my clear. I believe that's what it means. So I will let that do its thing and come back in a bit to put the center. Be right back. Okay, some time has passed and I'm going to put some glitter mix in the center. I have no idea what's going to happen over here. Uh, trying not to be too discouraged because you never know till it's over. It ain't over till it's over. Okay, so let me just drop in <clears throat> a little bit of this glitter mix. And all I can do is hope for the best. Alrighty. I will see you for the unmolding. Okay, so I hope this little thing didn't do harm. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here we go. Oh, awesome. Very, very happy. Wow, that is cool. Very, very cool. Take you down for a close up. Interesting though, I put all the different colors and um, only this purple showed up. But there is my daisy belly. Thank you for watching.